Hey everybody, it's Craig back to here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to balance the Xeon Tech Crane version 2 with the Panasonic GH5. There's a few additional accessories I recommend the Manfrotto Pixie tripod and the Manfrotto 323 quick release plate. And we'll flip it over, and you can see that you use the supplied screw from Xeon Tech Crane, and that holds your Manfrotto 323 in place. And then all you have to do is snap your camera on. Now, there's a lever on the bottom of the Xeon Check Crane version two, and that's what allows you to slide your camera fore and aft to make that fore and aft camera adjustment. And then you can check that by seeing if it goes back in place. And once it's balanced, it's just gonna sit still. And then you can tilt it back as well, just to make sure that it stays where you left it. Now there's three adjustments to be made. And I usually start with that one first. And you may find that your initial setup is going to take longer, but after that, if you're using the Pixie tripod, you can just put it in place on the ground wherever you are and just verify your balance adjustments. But you can see that the fore and aft is working. And like I said, you just use that lever on the bottom to make those fine tune adjustments by moving your camera fore and aft. So that's the first adjustment that I recommend that you do. We'll have a quick look. There's the lever there. That's the little adjustment lever that will allow you to move your camera fore and aft once it's on the Manfrotto 323 quick release plate. So once you have that in place, then you would adjust your left and right motion. So by undoing that screw, you can take that lever arm and go left or right. And so that depends on which way your camera's going. If it's going left, then you want to adjust it the opposite way to get that balance adjustment in place. Now, the third one's going to be a little tricky if you're using a Panasonic GH5 and you have the screen out because you want to set it up like the way you're going to use it, you'll have to configure it a little bit so that you can get that balance right. Then you hit the power switch and you'll see it kick in and then you're balanced and you're good to go. All right, once you have your camera balanced, there's a few things I'm going to go over. Now we're going to start in the first mode. So the mode button is to the left. And when you start your camera, basically you're in that default mode. And what that allows you to do is to pan. So by turning your hand to the left, or right, you can adjust the pan. Now there's an app that goes with this that allows you to adjust the speed and the amount of axis turn. So how far you have to turn right or left before that pan kicks in. Now when you're in this first mode, you can't tilt up and down unless you use the thumb control. So you basically have the camera like this. So you can move it like this, no problem. It's gonna work, you can go like this. And then if you want to pan, you just tilt it left or right. And I'll show you in the app how to adjust that. Now, what you want to do to go to the next mode is to click it really quick just once. Now, what that'll allow you to do, and it doesn't always kick in, is now you can see I can't pan or I can't tilt. So that was just the one click. Now, if we go back, we should have the pan again. Now, what we want to do for the next mode is click it twice. So now if I click it twice, you can see that now I can adjust the pan and the tilt. So by doing that, I can adjust both. So that's two clicks. Now if we want to go back, two quick clicks, I can adjust the pan. But now, oh, it didn't work that time. So sometimes it doesn't work. So we're going to click it once. We'll see what happens. And it's still not working. So I'll click it twice. And let's see what happens. So if you have a problem like that where you can't seem to get back to the default mode, what you can do is just turn it off entirely and then start it up again. Because I've had that happen a few times where for some reason when I click it doesn't go back to the default mode. So there's the two modes that I showed you so far. There's the panning, the second one the panning and tilt. Now there's also a selfie one where if I click it three times it turns around and faces me. And then what I can do to make it go back is one, two, three, and it should turn back around. Like I said, sometimes it doesn't always respond perfectly. If that happens, just turn it off and power it up again. But basically, that's the basics of setting up your Xeon Tech Crane. Now, here we are looking at the Xeon Tech Assist app. Now, there's a couple different apps out there. Make sure you don't get them confused. And all you do is click on Connect, and then you can connect to your Xeon Tech Crane. And that will allow you to adjust your stabilizer settings. So if you click there, you could see that you can set your pitch and your roll and your pan adjustments. So that will determine how long it takes before the pan kicks in, so how much you have to turn your hand right or left before that takes place. And then you can adjust how slow or fast the pan is and set your camera. I've got mine set to medium, 
It also shows you your battery power. And you can also take remote control using the app. All right, before you go, if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, do me a favor and hit that like button. Now, if you have any questions or comments, you can place them in the comments section below, and I can create future videos about the Zen Tech Crane. All right, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one.